An entire train ride is spent deciding if and when to use the bathroom. A dangerous intersection is causing some pretty cool accidents. And a new report finds that a typical city bus contains no fewer than four erections at any given time. You begged and pleaded like mewling infants for a transit-themed summary of this week's news. Thus, here is the Onion Week in Review Transportation Edition. In Albany, a Greyhound bus crash claimed 30 miserable lives Tuesday, finally putting over two dozen deadbeat fathers, penniless drug addicts, and hapless bastards out of their misery. Emergency crews at the scene of the merciful accident described the sea of fast food bags, candy bar wrappers, and losing lottery tickets surrounding the crash site as utterly tragic, adding that the scorched corpses inside the bus were, quote, only slightly more lifeless than before the deadly accident. Evidence suggests that most of the victims suffered during the crash and for many years before they even boarded the bus. All I can say is, thank God no one made it. Al-Qaeda is refusing to carry out any further terrorist attacks until the U.S. mass transportation infrastructure is drastically improved, calling the country's roads and bridges a, quote, travesty, unbecoming of a developed first world nation. We want to turn your bridges into rubble. But if we took credit for making them collapse, no one would ever believe us. The terrorist group demanded the U.S. step into the 21st century and build a high-speed rail line, which they claim to be both an efficient mode of transportation and something actually worth destroying. According to a Stanford University study released Wednesday, there is no logical reason why planes are able to fly. Reiterating that they fully understand the concepts of lift, thrust, and propulsion, lead physicists told reporters they were still unable to reasonably explain how a large 500,000-pound object is capable of staying up in the air without falling. We've come up with several theories, including wind propulsion, some sort of gravity suspension effect, also the possibility that the clouds pull the plane skyward, but, you know, beyond that... Uh, just don't understand how a large metal tube could just kind of float in the air like that. And it's going at like 500 miles per hour, which means that when I'm on a plane, I'm also going 500 miles per hour? I mean, that's crazy. I mean, why is my hair blowing back and forth? The Stanford team added they plan to devote the next two years to a new study on why telephones can hear. And in local news, an area man goes and gets himself hit by a goddamn bus. In other news, an urban planner is stuck in traffic of his own design. An underground railroad carries slaves from Brooklyn to Manhattan, and a kid screams behind a passenger during an entire plane crash. Nothing but miles of open road ahead, and you choose to sit at a computer watching a web video instead. Live a little, asshole, or visit theonion.com newsbeat for more.